subtraction. I'm going to teach you how to use the decomposition method or the compact column strategy, which involves decimals. Now that we are working with decimals, it is important that we have a secure knowledge of the place value system. On the left hand side of the decimal point, we have our, our whole numbers. And on the right hand side of the decimal point, we have our decimal parts. Let's start by reading the first question. 244.2 take away 83.5. The first thing we need to do is subtract the tenths. So I have two tenths and I'd like to take away five tenths. Because I do not have enough tenths to take away five, I have to borrow from the column next door. So I'm going to borrow one one from my ones column. And that leaves the ones with three ones. Now I have 12 tenths and I'm going to take away five tenths, which leaves me with seven tenths. When working with decimals, we need to make sure that the decimal point in our answer is directly underneath the decimal points above in the question. Now I'm going to subtract my ones. Three ones take away three ones gives me zero ones. And so now I'm going to subtract my tens. I have four tens take away eight tens, which is I cannot do because I do not have enough tens to take away eight. So I have to borrow from my hundreds column, which leaves the hundreds with 100 and leaves the tens with 14 tens take away eight tens. 14 tens take away eight tens is six tens. And finally, 100 take away no hundreds is 100. Therefore, the answer to 244.2 take away 83.5 is 160.7. Let's try with a slightly harder example. 417.2 take away 34.71. When subtracting decimals with a different number of decimal places, it is important to make them the same by identifying that the two tens here is the same as having 20 hundredths and therefore the point two is the same as having point two zero. Now we have um, decimals with the same number of decimal places, we can begin our subtraction. I'm going to start my subtraction with my hundredths. Zero hundredths take away one hundredths. Because I do not have enough hundreds here to take away one, I have to borrow from the column next door. So I'm going to borrow one tenth from the tenths column, and that leaves them with one tenths. Now I have ten hundredths, take away one hundredth, which leaves me with nine hundredths. Now I'm going to move to my tenths column. One tenth, take away seven tenths. I do not have enough tenths to take away seven, so I have to borrow from the column next door. I'm going to borrow a whole one from the ones column, and that leaves the ones with six ones. Now I have 11 tenths, and I'm going to take away seven tenths. 11 tenths take away seven tenths is four tenths. Again, with the decimals, I need to make sure that my decimal point in the answer is directly underneath the decimal points above. Now I'm going to subtract my ones. Six ones take away four ones, which equals two ones. One ten take away three tens. Again, I do not have enough tens to take away three tens, so I have to borrow from my hundreds. I take one hundred from the hundreds column, which leaves the hundreds with three hundreds. Now I have eleven tens take away three tens, which gives me eight tens. And three hundreds take away no hundreds, which is 300. Therefore, the answer to 417.2 take away 34.71 equals 382.49.